Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai, and my name is Sam, and today we're playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Splintered Fate. So now this isn't usually a game that I'm like, you know, a style of game that I'm usually like into and stuff, like games based off of Nickelodeon style stuff. Not usually my cup of tea, but I saw these four guys, Kyle, uh, the Dead Squirrel, Cartoons, and H2O Delirious. All these guys love their content, love their videos, they're good guys, very funny. And they made this game look extremely fun. And so, and it's also an action roguelike. So in that aspect, it's right up my alley. And I figured, you know what, I'll give it a try. Um, and see how things go. I mean, I've, I've seen, so I saw some of their videos and stuff on it. So I've seen like the early game, um... And seeing some of the encounters and stuff that are like early on in the game um and some of the obviously the dialogue and interactions and things like that but i'm looking forward to what's going to be coming like you know mid mid game late game that sort of thing in in this so we'll see how that goes now during the dialogue portions i'm gonna you know just go quiet and stuff and let you guys just listen to the dialogue um but yeah, for now, we're playing through the tutorial, learning the controls. If I'm going to be the leader Master Splinter wants me to be, I have to focus. Train harder. Let's see how it goes. Wish the others were here. They're good, but not good enough. None of us are. We need to be better, Ninja. Something's not right. A foot! What the heck are those creeps doing here? Okay. Out. Not exactly the kind of training I was expecting. Hold on. What's this? But like, what is? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Give you a special grant slight shell. Great immunity to projectile attacks. That seems pretty good. That actually does. Whoa! I feel stronger. Not that I'm complaining. Now, let's see if any more of those foot jerks are lurking around. Another ambush, guys? Oh, gosh. need to come up with some new tricks. Okay. Trying to learn okay. the controls. This is definitely new. Looks like a strange coin. That just near to that. Pretty sure I'm gonna need father to explain all this. That texture, just I think, a little farther. was a little bit glitch, but maybe it's just me. Uh, guys? This is getting kind of ridiculous, don't you think? Your lame sneak attacks followed by me kicking your butts. Deja vu all over again. Ninja style. That shuriken just like lock on to me. I think it did. Another purple thing? Sweet. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Special and tool deals. What? Utrum damage? Elemental damage using the power of technology. Okay. And the ability is. Yeah, okay. Dash deals damage to two near to to let to two enemies near where you end up. That actually seems pretty good. A little zing on top. So like I if I dash and stuff I deal. Oh, okay. Can you hear me? I, I don't know what happened. He's gone. Splinter's gone. April, April, crap! Reception shot. I gotta get back. Sensei's in trouble. Uh -oh. A trap. I should have known. And these guys aren't messing around like the ones before. Yeah, these guys look a little bit bigger than the other Why guys. The oh gosh. Oh. Jeez. Show yourself. Not so fast. I don't think. My okay. soldiers have you beaten. Too easy. I could have you destroyed here and now, but your ultimate demise. Yeah, that did not go very well. You'll have to wait. Your family's doom is at hand. You, your brothers, your pathetic fool of a father. Where has your feeble old master wandered off to, I wonder? If you happen to find the rat, do let me know. <laughs> so, wasn't Shredder that took him? Maybe? I don't know. I'm confused. Leo? Where did you come from? You're hurt. 
I'm good, April. But Father, where is he? What happened? He's gone, Leo. Some kind of trans-dimensional portal? Maybe transpatial? It looked kind of like the thing you just came out of, Leo. Where the heck were you? Training. A and then... Shredder and his foot goons ambushed me. I told you guys it was Shredder. I'm gonna recycle that tin can for sure. Not so fast, Raph. This is big. The way they took Master Splinter and sent Leo yeah, back... Yeah, but even Shredder didn't know, right? Like, he didn't... My sons, can you hear me? Unless he was just pretending. You? Where are you? Physically, I know not. Mentally, I speak from across the astral plane. Janine, come. You are injured. Be healed. Failed, Master. I, I, I got too cocky. Let my guard down. And then Shredder... Stop. Do not punish yourself, Leonardo. I too was caught by surprise. It appears Orokosaki has new tricks at his disposal. How do we find you? I do not know. We're gonna come get you, Sensei. Wherever you are. Nothing's getting in our way. We won't let you down, Father. I have never doubted your courage, nor your perseverance, my sons. And there may be ways I can aid you in this task. I found this strange coin, Sensei. I thought you would know what to do with it. Yes, I recognize this. An aspect of dark magic. Whoa! It, it disappeared! How is that possible? <laughs> I can extend this power to you. Oh, okay. Bye bye. There you go. Oh, max health. Do I have to? I guess I do. Should you uncover more of these coins, return them here in exchange for powerful blessings. And always remember your training, my sons. Okay. Father? Father! He's. He's gone, guys. What do we do now? He lived the rest of the, the next 19 years not knowing where he went. That's what you do. Oh, sorry. My I think I'm projecting. Um, let's see. Look at the turtle. Let's see. Taking my technique to a totally new level. Um, the youngest brother in the heart of the family deals area damage. Makes the most of high hit count damage effects. That seems good. Because, um, because AO, because dealing AOE, I've all, I've said this plenty of times. Being able to deal with hordes of units is always going to be, or hordes of enemies is always going to be good in like survival games. Because the majority of the time, what you're going to end up dying to is hordes of enemies, and occasionally, depending on the game, it might be bosses. Um, lead from the front. Leonardo, his high, his focus is on high damage and mobility with low ability cooldowns. Seems cool. Go back for the attack. Second one is he is highly aggressive with a focus on critical damage. That seems cool. Special critical hit chance, attack critical hit chance plus. Uh, throw a turtle line dealing 30 physical damage on hit. Pull yourself towards bosses and pull other enemies towards you. I'm not sure how good pulling enemies towards me is going to be. Want to make this a team up? He has high health with a focus on utility. Restore 5 health upon starting an encounter. Tool charges. Ooh. I'm immune to all damage? You know what? Donatello seems like he could be really good. Because, well, Michelangelo, Mike, Michelangelo, we have a Michelangelo, does focus on, like, area damage, which is obviously going to be good against, like, hordes of enemies. I need to get back to the lair. Donatello, to this game has very much so a lack of healing. Like, you don't really get much healing, and that's just something that I've noticed from watching, you know, Aishio Delirious, uh, uh, Aishio Delirious and, you know, those other guys. Watch them play this game. And that's what I've noticed is that they always were complaining or well just saying like that they weren't getting much healing. So I think a character that kind of focuses on more um 
you get you gain a little bit of health as well as a, a way of becoming immune to damage. I think that's gonna be pretty good. Now the thing is though, Improvement. dashes Tag are pretty most of We're in strong in this game. Clever. Capitalize on your strength. The way you know me. What can I say? Um, I take multitasking to a whole new level. Paging Michelangelo. F yeah, just don't. Gotta get back to the lair and regroup. If it ain't. We'll just try Don Donatello and see how things go. Uh, so there's a chest here. Can't access it. There's, here's the dragon. So that's where you, you know. The dragon just like form. Carl Sagan said, the only thing we found that makes the emptiness bearable is each other. He's right, and our family has each other to get through this. You know what? That's a good way of looking at things, Donatello. That's a very good way of looking at things. Is there anything over here? Anything? Anything cool? Anything interesting? I don't think so. No? Okay. Nothing to really explore, at least not yet. I think this area does get a little bit more full of stuff later on um but yeah for the time being let's just go th into the next actually start our get to shredder. We'll first official run the rooftops that's where the foot jumped to me what are we waiting for let's go i just hope father's okay we all do mikey let's see. whoa what is this I forgot to tell you guys. I ran into this just before Shredder and his goons ambushed me. Looks totally powerful, dudes. It made me stronger, but only for a short time. The power faded when that portal thing returned me to the lair. Huh, curious. I should call Metalhead and have him run some tests. No time, nerdling. Take it and let's go get Sensei. <laughs> okay, boost less. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, special and cool applies one stack of... Uh, hit by your dash. Yeah, see, like I said, dashing is fairly strong. Do, or do I want to go for stuff that's going to buff the tool? Because, uh, again, his tool is extremely strong. For the next 1.4 seconds, become immune to all damage. And then also, tool charges 80% faster. So do I... I think, I think for Donatello, I'm going to focus on the tool... And then maybe with a different character, maybe with a different character or whatever, we'll try focusing on the dash. Because I think the dash, if you can get a, 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 a like some dash energy synergies, I think that's going to be the strongest strategy for this game. Just because the other, the other, like Did your you know your special and your tool require um, require um, you to. Um, hit enemies to recharge them. Whereas with the dash, it just has a timer. Uh, uh, so we'll take the dragon coins. Definitely want to take uh, as many dragon coins as we can just to kind of get some uh, permanent buffs. Sleep tight. Bed bugs will bite. Oh yeah, that's that ooze thing. Nice. Foot in the sewers? Oh, Shredder is definitely on the offensive. I swear those shurikens like lock on to me. More dragon coins. Long term investment. Okay, let's see. Interesting. Looks like Stockton is on the Shredder's payroll. Not a bad paint job. Wait, why is this purple? Oh, I got some scrap. Oh, that'll be nice to have, actually. I'm not sure what scrap does. Well, actually, yes, I do. Sorry. Now that I'll think about it. I've seen, uh, I saw them, uh, make sure delirious than those guys. They would spend scrap at, like, a shop type thing. 
This expires is reapplied to one nearby unaffected enemy. Uh, yeah, sure. We'll really focus on this ooze thing, I guess. Oh yeah, for, okay, don't stand in there. Oh jeez, okay. I never am a big fan of, of melee enemies in video games, just because of their... The attack animation for stuff is usually not very good, because of the amount of time that it takes to actually execute the attack animation, and... When you do execute the attack animation, it usually ends up um, taking time to execute it, and then that can screw up what you're doing. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's just another tool that I could choose. Take this, special grins, dark shell. What does Dark Shell do? Deal 10 dark damage per second to nearby enemies. Ooh, okay. So I can apply one stack of un uh, darkness to unaffected enemies. Each stack damage or something. Uh, wow. So yeah, all of these actually seem good. So this, so this light attack, attack damage increased by 4% of max health. It did say Donatello. No, was that it? Yeah, Donatello focuses on high health and utility. So, this could be good, but Cloak of Shadow. I think I'm going to go with that. Sounds scary. Time to be scary. Light attacks would be good, too. Oh, yeah, I need to be getting these things as well. I don't... I at least don't remember if cartoons and those guys would really get... Um, would get those little crates that have the purple stuff in them. That's why I didn't really remember seeing them. The foot must have good logistics to deploy so quickly. Okay. I honestly think like status effect stuff is gonna be pretty good with Donatello. I could be wrong, but I feel like long term investment. Or it could just be this current strategy or this current build that I currently have that is well, making it good. Kind of look like yeah, these shurikens just go straight for me. How are you guys? How are you guys arcing your shurikens? What is happening? Like, look at that. They have homing shurikens. What in the world? Can you stand still, please? There we go. Uh, all damage is dealt. Ooh. Or deal 20, 20 base damage or extra ooze damage. That ooze does seem pretty good, and I think. Whoa, a portal! Hey, I wanted to learn more about them. I guess now's the chance. You just gonna walk through it? Why not? Maybe it'll take us to Father. Donnie's right. We don't have a lot to go on right now. As crazy as it sounds, walking through this portal actually makes the most sense. Okay. Um, but yeah, honestly, that ooze seems okay. pretty strong. This ain't too weird. Especially against like groups of enemies. Kind of I think it's going to be pretty good. Yeah. Do you think they sell pizzas here? <laughs> if they do, you better make sure one of the toppings isn't tetanus, Mikey. Fair. That's cool. As long as it's got pineapple and anchovies, too. <laughs> he really doesn't care what is on his pizza. As long as he's eating it. Okay, we'll talk oh, to... Oh, my honored and valiant guests. Welcome to my sincere... Oh, yeah, this guy. Centuries. I am called... The Chairman. Donnie, what's sundries? <laughs> it's just a fancy word for miscellaneous goods, Mikey. Well, looks at this dump. I don't think good's the right word for this stuff. Raph, show some respect. 
Just saying. Please don't let the detritus fool you. Your purple-clad comrade has the right of it. My humble market abounds with items you are sure to, to find both good and helpful. <laughs> Donatello. Wait, how do you know about our quest? Mine is a very busy establishment. A rare commodity in this in-between place with a diverse and thriving clientele. As a result, I am privy to, shall we say, the gossip of the times. Such as the recent news of your quartet's harrowing journey to save your master from the notoriously naughty clutches of the Foot Clan. Yo, chair guy. If any of those clients you're bragging about told you where those foot goons got our father holed up, this would be a real good time to spit it out. Believe me, my irascible friend, if I did have access to such crucial information, I would readily share it with you. Outstanding customer service is, after all, my highest priority. But alas, I cannot provide what I do not possess. But you did say you could help with our mission. Yes, yes, I have for purchase many special items, charms, and enhancements, if you will, that once bought provide the buyer with powers and abilities they had previously lacked. Oftentimes, when they are needed most to overcome seemingly unassailable odds. I don't know, fellas. This is sounding like one huge scam to me. Oh, but That's I assure what I'm you, I am a legitimate businessman soliciting an honest service at a fair price, of course. After all, anything worth having is worth paying for, don't you agree? So please, peruse and ponder my goods. I am confident you will find something to your liking. See, I'm, I'm thinking, right? This could be just me being crazy. I this back at the lair. I really feel like that the chairman is the one that kidnapped Splinter. That's my initial thought process. Cuz I'm like he he boasts and like is always saying like how he just knows everything. And so I would find and and Shredder also said that he didn't know where Splinter was. So wouldn't this chairman know that Splint that or uh, that Shredder doesn't know where Splinter is? Scrap for payment? What the heck kind of shop is this? Junk man wants junk. Kind of makes sense if you think about it. I feel like that was kind of late to have that dialogue. This chamber. It's I feel like they should have had it like Great. No stinking exit. during the conversation or something. Is that Slash? You're right. It's totally the big guy. Then again, I guess oh, calling him junk yeah. man would have been Things a little bit rude to say it to his face, but Otherhead? Yes, I'm here, mutant. In this fetid sewer with you and the rest of your disgusting ilk. But not for long. What do you mean? He made promises. I will return to my natural state. And all that is important. Is the remedy and its price. What price? Your destruction. See, who who would make promises? If Shredder can I mean, because I feel like if Shredder would have made this offer to Leatherhead, I feel like he would have done that a long time ago. So I feel like it's gotta be someone else other than Shredder. <laughs> Although, why would, why would the chairman want the destruction of, uh, of the turtles? Gosh. Yeah, you can't dash if you're doing an attack animation. Again, this is my problem with melee characters. Is that if you're doing an attack animation, you literally have to, it's, it's literally something that you are like, like, uh, uh, what's the right word? You're committing. You're committing quite a bit when you do an attack animation, because you 
can't like do anything else while doing an attack animation. Things are feeling fifty percent. My displeasure displeases me. Jeez, yeah, Donatello. I mean, maybe I just don't have a good build with him. I am very much so struggling, struggling more than I would have expected to be. Then again, it is it is also partially due to the poor mechanics of this game, but. Then again, it's not just this game, so I can't actually like. It's most most games that have melee characters. One that is easily manipulated. Slash, let's get you out of there. What? Are those train ties? Oh, this is gonna take a while. Interesting. Portal. Someone's protecting Leatherhead. Ooh, what was that? I thought I got something new. I don't know what that was. Is there a way to see my damage? Scrap, damage, er, dragon coins. You can see my health, but I can't see my damage. Okay. This pizza's a guilty pleasure? Ooh, thank you for the pizza. Buddy, you're free. How did you end up trapped down here? I came looking for you and your brothers, Leonardo. There have been bizarre happenings on the surface. Odd creatures appearing seemingly out of nowhere. Roaming and terrorizing the streets to the point that the police are enforcing a mandatory lockdown for all civilians. Dang! Sounds like things are getting cray cray up there. I suspected the Foot Clan is somehow responsible, and I came to warn you. But unfortunately, I was ambushed and taken prisoner by Leatherhead instead. I wouldn't sweat it too much, pal. The whole ambushed and taken prisoner thing's going around tonight. The Foot jumped Leo earlier and snagged our father, too. Oh no, Master Splinter. We think the Foot Clan has father. We're working off some pretty fragmented data at this point, so we can't be 100% certain yet. Whatever's true, none of it is making sense. Leatherhead's never attacked us unprovoked before. And what the heck was all that talk about his natural state? Don't waste too much brain juice trying to figure it out, Don. It's just a matter of time before that scaly kook snapped. Maybe. That was definitely a teleporter he used to escape, which totally proves my theory. Shredder's got himself some new high-tech toys. I don't know. My vote's still on something darker than normal science, Donny. Will you geeks shut up about all that computers and crystal balls junk for two freaking seconds? You're giving me a bigger headache than Mikey was with all his whining earlier. Raph's a total jerk, but he's not wrong. We need to quit all this dumb arguing and get going so we can save Father. That's the spirit, Mikey. I'm confident you'll be successful. I... I hope so, big guy. We've never done anything this big without our sensei. I'm getting worried we might not be able to handle it without him. We gotta get moving. Thanks for all the intel, Slash. It helps a lot. And watch your back down here. You heard Leatherhead. He's not finished yet. I am still very... Like, I'm trying to figure out... Can Dudes, who it is? Where all the people go? That took Splinter. Last time I saw the docks this empty was when that rusty sewer drain exploded and flooded everything. Ugh. Talk about clearing a place out real quick. Looks like Slash was right. The authorities have all the civilians hunkered down. Good, let them hide. Just means nobody's gonna get in the way of us pounding the foot. <laughs> yeah, but it means <clears throat> nobody's gonna help us either. Hmm. I don't, you might be right, Mikey. I don't know. Pounding will the foot. Sorry. Huh? You'll see. Let's go. Just sounded uh funny. Um, final strike. Uh, the last hit in your attack change burst of 
see attack chains. That's my biggest problem is I hate anything with an attack chain leaves you up uh leaves you vulnerable to being attacked while you're doing your attack chain. Special crit hit chance. Just go for extra charges for my special attack. I should probably be looking around more for those boxes with uh, scrap. Us to your leader. Yeah, things are feeling 50%. Stupid laser gun. Every enemy is like ending with like a tiny, tiny bit of health. Really annoying. Oh my gosh. Stupid freaking laser. Is that it? Okay. Proof. Um. These are both pretty good. I might go for the ooze. Yeah, we go for it. I should have actually probably gone for my tool. Eh, it's fine. Oh, this Whatever. Oh, jeez. Because if I can increase the chain or the time that I have of being immune, that seems really good. One must have good logistics to deploy so quickly. Freaking lightning strikes? Jeez. So you have lightning strikes, and then you also have these freaking guys that, like, explode. Freaking. What is that? Oh my gosh. I hate games that have attack chains. I actually. Well, I don't hate the. I don't have. I don't hate the games, but I hate. Melee characters. Um, we we'll just take the scrap. I don't want that. Probably keep it. Just, just, just hate melee characters with a, with a passion. Uh, we'll go with that. <sighs> we got a lot of scrap, but I think we're probably going to die here. Yeah. I couldn't dash. Ah, oh, it drives me insane. Welcome back, gentlemen. Because it was doing the attack well. chain, I couldn't Could dash. Worse, I suppose. Away. We'll find Splinter Leo. I promise. Yeah. Thanks, April. Moving on, though. I got tired of the mess around here and decided to toss some of your stuff in an old chest by the dojo. If you need anything before heading uh. out, that'll be the place to find it. Aw, oh, thanks, April. Mighty kind of you. Don't get used to it. I got a lot better things to do with my time than to clean up after you guys. Here's hoping you take the overly obvious hint. Like, why can't games just have it that if you're attacking, 
why, like, why can't dashes and movement and stuff like that override your attacks? It makes so much more sense. Man, it was so great to see the big guy again. Yeah, and save him from scales for brains, too. Slash will definitely be a critical asset to have on our side moving forward. I agree, but he's still got to be careful. And so do we. We might have taken down Leatherhead this time, but it sure didn't sound like he planned to stay down. Why would he, Don? Dude's a glutton for punishment. He gets up again, we'll just give him more of what he wants. Uh. How may I be of assistance, Donatello? The foot seems to be employing a large amount of stock gen tech. Hack into this, search for a client list, uh, purchase records, serial numbers, anything that could give us insight into who's really involved. Command acknowledged. Stock gen? Why in the world would Baxter Stockman want to get caught up in Foot Clan business? Especially now that he's mayor. Huh? Money for all we know. O or power. I mean, that's his regular M.O. at least. Uh, regardless, let's see what we can learn. Uh, could be more going on here than we first thought. What does M.O. stand for? I'm curious. I've, I, I've used... I've used M.O. I know what it means. <sighs> I just, I just don't know what M.O. stands for. Uh, go with that. I know what that does. I've seen, I again, the, uh, some of this stuff I kind of already know just from watching them play. This is just a revive. Um, extra dash would be good. Move speed. Health recovery. Because health is... An absolute necessity in this game because you just you barely ever get any attack damage is gonna be nice elemental could be good especially with I'm assuming that ooze and stuff counts as that tool damage but Donatello dual, tool damage isn't like super important specialty you need like um, you need to unlock stuff so like uh, these things as for example like uh, I think so, at least. Now, these need, like, amulets or something. Does this... Does it show amulets? Oh, yeah, astral... Astral... Ra no, talismans. That's what it is. Marks how many times you have to feed Karai with a specific turtle. Click more to unlock the special. Ah, so you have to do it with, like, a specific turtle to unlock. Okay, that's cool. Special damage again. I'm not sure if that's really that important. I think elemental damage is going to be more important. Because if we're going for like... Er, I mean... Because I am going for like the... Um, for like... Da I'm going to go dashes this time. Um, I think I'm going to save up. Let's see what we get. Oh, this is what that was. Double select chance when selecting water powers guarantees your next power selection is of the water category. Ah, okay. Oh, and hello. Outside April. of this portal insanity, how goes things, guys? We found this crazy shop where we can get all kinds of cool stuff to help get father back. Crazy's right. You should see the crackpot run in that place, April. <laughs> he calls himself the chairman. Dude's like Fright Night with a stinking feather pen. He's creepy, all right. But Mikey's not kidding about the items he's selling. Definitely things we could use to our advantage. Yeah, if you don't mind doing all your shopping in a haunted junkyard. Well, it's not like the four of us can just go to the mall and browse for enhancements, Raph. Maybe not us, but April could. Sorry, Raph. I'm more of an online shopper these days. Yep, then freaky feather guy it is. <laughs> See, another thing that I would like with this game is if they had it where... You heal after every encounter. Because if you are playing, lurking around. Because if you're playing multiplayer, you can have a char like you can have like let's say like one character survive, have the other three die, and then if that one person beats the encounter, the other three players will come back and have more health, and they'll ha you know they'll they'll heal after dying. Whereas with single player. If you die, it's game over. So I wish that they had a way of, yeah, like healing. Um, 
Like, I wish there was a way for your care for you to heal after like an encounter or something, or like at the end or at the start of an of the next. I think it would make more sense to have it at the end of an encounter. Oh, I have little guys with me. I'm not sure what that or what gives me that. Okay, sure. I guess I just have them. You guys actually kind of look like armless chickens. Uh. Oh, receive a small care package from April and Metalhead. That's okay. So, th so it's just a little care package that that you get. That's cool. Take us to your lead. Extra scrap. I pretty much built metalhead out of scrap. Scrap. There's tons of scrap around here. But yeah, see, like, you, I mean, like, because, yeah, these dashes just retard, so you can, with multiple dashes, you really get around quick. I'm not a big fan of the fact that it does use, like, dashes in fairly quick succession. Like, that was a little weird. Um. Like, I wish you had to press spacebar to use the dash rather than just hold it down. These sonic concussions are dangerous in closed spaces. Okay, I was... Okay. I also wish that encounters wouldn't start until you actually move. Like, can I have a bit of a grace period, please? Also, Oh my gosh. I swear, it's gonna drive me insane, the fact that... I know it's like, I know the game just came out. So I'm like, I'm hoping things are gonna get a little bit better. Enemies hit by your dash, it will replace the water dash. Which might be better if I... Uh, I don't... I, I think I'm just gonna go with the... I would just go with that. I also wish your abilities would like I should see if we'll just come off a of cooldown. Like I wish they, would, I wish there were cooldowns would refill after after a count. There's a lot of things. Oh, there's a lot of improvements that I feel like could be made to this game, and I do call them improvements. These are not my opinions. These are freaking objective facts. Uh, yeah, let's increase, let's buff my tool. I think, I, I think, yeah, making it better and stuff and making it so that I get more uh, immunity, longer immunity, I think that's going to be pretty strong. Oh, we got more little guys. Nice. Very cool. I wonder how... Is there a way to get more of them, I wonder? Like, 
increase the chance of you getting like that kind of care package or um uh, go with that to the chairman's house we go new merchandise oh another shop wonder what we'll find this time just take the dragon coins anything else in here no okay so i saw like a little tunnel over here can I go, like, through it? No? Anything over here? No? Okay. Guess not. Oh, Leatherhead again. Okay. Must you taunt me? You're the one picking this fight. I have no choice. But you use what you've stolen against me. Stolen? That is not acceptable. What? This manhole cover? Disgusting thieves! Oh yeah, the manhole cover. I forgot about that. See, it uses both dashes, and I don't want it to. I just want it to use one. See, right there. Like, I just wanted it to use one dash. You can use both of them. Because as long as... Because if you, like, hold spacebar for too long, it just uses both dashes. Which... There's a lot of things about this game that kind of infuriates me, but... Again, it is early in the game development, so I do hope things improve. Which I, I assume they will, I and mean, usually how games go. Get back here, big guy. Oh, I can't hit him. I also do, I you know, the one aspect of this that I do like is that he, um, he takes out the little mint, the little rats and stuff. Whenever he does his attacks, he, he ends up also hitting them. I think that's a, that's a nice little feature as well. Because, I mean, it does make sense, so. The fact that they did, that they added that, I think is pretty cool. Science that allows for retransformation. Let's go. Yeah, maybe it's not science. I need to collect more data, whatever it takes. Okay, can't destroy those. Can't destroy those. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's get the extra. Although, multi-hit chance thing seems good, but I think, I think the less, the less I have to rely on my main attack, the better. It is sad that I must destroy such a fine piece of tech for My health is feeling 50% right now, I'm gonna be honest. Long-term investment. 
Oh, jeez. Yeah, like, I, I like how enemies can hit each other. Like, it, like, that makes sense. So that is a nice feature that they have in this game. Is that there is, like, there is friendly fire among enemies. Now, if you had multiple people, I'm not sure if there would also be friendly fire among other players. I assume there wouldn't be. Um. I'll use this with father. But... I don't know, maybe, maybe there is. Nice. Like, it kind of reminds me of, um, of Raven Watch. How they have, they do have, a uh, friendly fire among, like, certain enemies. Uh, during that time, ride the wave. Huh. During that time, deal 60 water damage per second to nearby enemies. That is cool. But it would get rid of my hardened shell, which I think is pretty good. And feels pretty strong. Yeah, it's almost it almost feels like a necessity to have multiple dashes just so that the game isn't constantly screwing you over because you can't dash dash away during your attack. For light attacks, maybe? I haven't really gotten anything that's increased like max health, so a little, little hesitant to the to get this. Just but at the same time, I already have 150 max health, so that's already like so that's already I'm already getting six extra damage. Different. Goodness, the chairman is full of surprises. Rose, is that a giant squid or maybe even a mythological sea kraken? No! Ah! And look who else is here! One of those punk frogs, dudes! <laughs> yeah, it's Genghis. What in the world is he doing here? Man, I can't stand those chumps. Never know whose side they're on. Pretty sure the only side they care about is the one that lets them create the most anarchy, Raph. Well, if they want Antarctica so bad, why don't they just move someplace <laughs> where it snows all the time? <laughs> I... Yeah, never mind. They <laughs> want Antarctica? <laughs> Oh yeah, this guy. See, I, they should have had the um, the dialogue like up here or something, so you can actually see who they're what talking. What you about. looking at, huh? I don't know. A slimy little punk. Yeah, nothing like the pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> More like the mutant reptile calling the mutant amphibian green. Huh? <laughs> Leave the terrible jokes to Mikey, Don. Hey, why are you here, Genghis? What? Can Genghis Khan? Shopping, huh? You don't exactly strike me as the shopping type. Yeah, more like the breaking and entering type. Not today, turtle. Don't gotta break in when you're being invited. Invited? By who? Well, I don't me, think anyone named Genghis I has ever been invited anywhere. Humble shop is host to a rich variety of clientele, did I not? 
only thing rich is you believe in this two-bit tadpole's not here for a five-finger discount. Four fingers, Raph. Not everything's about math, Einstein. No, but commerce certainly is. Mr. Genghis is here to spend his hard-earned money on my goods. No different than the four of you. Money? That he honestly <laughs> earns by... <laughs> yes, well, it's by, as they uh, say. One what is it? Just destroying and expert. conquering and... He honestly earned these rewards. There is absolutely nothing that he did wrong to earn the rewards that he currently has. Two enemies near winning. I think this might be better. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of the water dash, them how I conduct myself. and we'll restore some extra hit points. Um, uh, wait, can I not? Okay, there we go. Oh, that was just for... Okay. I'm stronger than I realize, I guess. Whoa! That... Hold on. Can you, like... Do you, like, glitch across stuff? Also, is there any, yeah, is there any, like, other secret? Yeah, it's like, you can, like, glitch across, like that. Okay. That's enough of me testing out weird theories. we meet again? Anything in this tunnel, maybe? Nope, you can't even go. Okay, you can't even go in there. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, so I think this is going to be better, because it just hits, like, near where enemies are, rather than having to land directly on them. Can I go through the truck? Okay, I tried. Uh, yeah. Go with this. Uh, upgrade our hardened shell. I'm curious, maybe if it would be better to start with a different hero, like a different uh, character, and then um, try to unlock Hardened Shell with that character, because it, because you do get a lot of options for like getting different um, characters, like um, their tools and stuff. So I'm curious if you just like play as a different character and then instead of and then you like upgrade like one of your um Okay, I'm talking and playing at the same time. Must have good logistics. Going very well. But yeah, if you like just like Play as a different character, and then, um, and then just try to get like a higher level, like the higher level uh, hardened tool. Maybe that boat has something to do with it. Who in their right mind would be going on a cruise right now? Maybe it's not a cruise, Don. Maybe it's an escape. You think the foot's hiding Sensei on that old tub, Leo? Could be. Especially with the foot so heavily invested in controlling the streets. Come on. Yeah, I wonder if, yeah, if, if like, you just... So, because instead of upgrading my tool constantly, I'm curious if I just, like, let's say, 
uh, get a good dash, upgrade the dash, and then get a level 3 um, hardened shell tool with like a different character or something like that. I don't know. Just, you know, that's just. Storm sure makes some choppy water. It's just a theory that I have. Which is, that, see, and what I do like with not Donatello is he did actually get a little bit of health back because of. Um, Because of uh, Donatello's inspiration. Down the hatch, Not much, boys. but chill, Mikey. This isn't the time to be goofing around. I wish you would actually this just gain health back. Karai? Stand down, Karai. Our fight's with your grandfather. This doesn't involve you. As the Shredder's second in command, all his conflicts involve me. You of all people should know that, Leonardo. My Shredder got his JV squad stinking up the docks in the river anyways. This is Angel's turf. Your ally, the vigilante who ridiculously calls herself nobody, no longer holds sway here. The docks and these waters are now under the dominion of Master Shredder. The Foot Clan rules it all. And soon much, much more. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> See, the fact that it dashes twice means that, like, sometimes you'll dash away and then dash immediately back to where you started. Which is not what I want. I'm trying to dash away, not dash away, then right back towards the exact place that I was trying to get away from. Ah, oh my gosh, I didn't think she was going to do it twice. Your efforts are useless. Yeah, whatever. Shut up. Useless. Shut up, Karai. Karai's right. It's like we're in a bad dream, Leo. How are we going to get out of this? No, she's wrong. And we get through this together. That's how. Yeah, Mike. Only bad dreams happening to the ones Baby Shredder's going to have when we spit shine the docks with her and her freak posse. Okay. Well, let's see what we can buy with the dragon coins that we have. Uh, ooh, another splinter revive would be good. More max health. You know what? I'm gonna You're buy stronger. another revive. Cause I think I need it. <laughs> um, again, more tool damage. I mean, I think. Next time, I'm gonna. I'm not. I don't think I want to play as Donatello anymore. Because a little bit of extra healing is nice that you get with Donatello, but it's really not much. Um, do I have any other, like, artifact things? No? Okay. Uh, yeah, next time, I'm definitely gonna play as, like, Father would. Yeah, taking my technique to a totally new level. 
I'll try playing as um, Stressing, dude. as Michelangelo. I know I can help. I still think the taunt, like a a, a strategy with the taunt, or uh, not taunt, uh, the strategy with the dash. I think that's gonna be pretty good. Find some synergies with the dash, but yeah, I don't know. I mean. I'm trying to think of what good strategies there really are, but with how this place is totally empty now, especially without father being here. With how some things are, I I can't I, I don't know. Well, we'll see. I'm definitely gonna be playing this game more, and hopefully, like as time goes on, they make some improvements, some changes, things like that to kind of improve the gameplay of this but this is like my this is my first look at it just first time playing wanted to see how this would go um went pretty well overall it's a really fun and a really good game um the critiques that i have for it really apply to most uh games that have melee characters and since this game only has melee characters um it, it's a bit more um more of an extreme critique with this game and one that needs to be uh it, it, it's more of a focus i would say for this game because the characters in the only the characters that are in it um are all melee characters um but it's a creek a critique that i've had for like games like raven's watch um and really any game that has like this sort of like gameplay where you're one character um going out and fighting enemies and you have to kind of go find them and that sort of thing like i said like raven's watch um or even hades too hades as well hades is a has a melee characters as well uh but it's been a while since i've played hades so i don't know exactly but i believe in hades you can have like an attack animation but then dash out of it um to dodge things so it has a way of it, it, it i at least think i remember it having a um a way out of it so or a way uh, a fix for it so i would like to see the same thing for this game as well where you could if you're attacking um you can because like this part here it's like it seems like you can dash you can attack and then okay there is a little bit of a delay on it though. but um it seems like you can attack and then i don't know it, it's weird because it's like when you're in here it works fine it seems like ah Okay, I think I see, I think I see part of the issue. Yeah, part of the issue I think is also that it attacks in the direction that your character's moving. Rather than the, the direction that your your cursor is, which doesn't seem like that bad of a thing, until you are realizing that you can only go up, down, left, or right. So you'd have to be to be able to attack a character that is diagonal from you. You have to be hitting, and you also have to be moving towards them at all times. Yeah, see, that's why I prefer it when games have it so that your character kind of follows your cursor. Maybe there's a way to change that. Because uh, I would really appreciate that if that was possible. Um... Oh, cool. 
Okay, there's different... Yeah, I wish it was more like it... Because... Because you have to, like, basically press which direction you want to be. And then if you're... Yeah, it just... And then instead of... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that's a little annoying. I'd rather have it, uh, like... Um... Do, like, it where it follows the cursor rather than WSD controls the move. Because it controls the movement and the direction that your character faces. Which is a little... Okay. Well, I'm gonna... I'm just... Before I get into too much complaining and stuff with this game. Because it is a really lovely game. It's just that, like I said, there are some changes that I would like to see made to it. Which I really, really feel like could be improvements. Um, especially with all the, all of the, like, experience that I have playing these types of games and stuff like that. Like, there's some improvements that I really do think that this could benefit from, um, and could make it, like, a better fighting game. Because in terms of, like, lore, story, you know, characters, all that sort of thing, it's great. Like, I, I think it's very, very cool, and I think they did a very good job, especially with, like, you know the voice, uh, the the voices and stuff for the characters, the style, the you know the look of everything, the art style, all that stuff. It looks amazing, and I love it. It's just that the gameplay I feel like could use a bit of improving. Really, I think it really just is the the gameplay. Everything else is very very good, and um, the gameplay as well is really good too. I just wish that there was, I just w I want there to be a, some improvements and stuff made to it, but. That's about it. But yeah. Um, I do highly recommend you guys go check this game out, honestly. Because, like I said, it is early. It's, it's an early development. I mean, the game just literally came out, like, uh, November 6th, I believe it was. Um, so, it is, you know, it, it, it's it been out at the time of this recording. You guys will see it um, tomorrow. But it is currently the 13th. You guys will see this video on the 14th. Um... So it's like a week old uh, at the time of me recording this. So there's still, you know, obviously plenty of changes and improvements that can be made during um, the, the next, you know, however long. Um, well, what, what am I saying? However long this game's going to be out. It's going to be out for... It's... Whatever. You guys get what I mean, though. It's got plenty of time to make improvements and changes and stuff um, before... Before it becomes one of those games that, like, oh, that there's so many complaints that people just kind of give up and are like, you know, this game's never getting changed or anything like that. So, I think there's a lot of feedback and stuff that people are going to be leaving for this game. And I can't wait to see uh, the developers kind of taking that feedback and apply it to this game. But, uh, yeah. My name's Sam. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. It means the world to me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And, uh, yeah. I hope to see you guys in the next one, and you guys take care.